Hey everyone, I know in my last video I said I was going to uh, uh, take a break from the news uh, and talk about the arts uh, a bit more because, you know, the arts are more uh, permanent, uh, you know, great art endures. News, you know, it, it, uh, it's very, very ephemeral. It feels like everything, you know, centers around this one story. And then a couple months later, it's like, what was that all about? You know, who even remembers that? That's the way things go with regard to news stories. However, I do want to dip back into the news again because while I was um, uh, taking a stroll just now, something came into my mind that I thought I would, uh, that maybe is an interesting and original thought. Um, and maybe, uh, maybe there's some truth to it, so I thought... I would just uh, throw it out there for y'all to to, uh, to chew over and consider. Well, here's what occurred to me concerning the uh, the disaster, the cat catastrophe, the uh, environmental and humanitarian catastrophe of uh, East Palestine, Ohio. Um, what what occurred to me? What I what I thought uh, just now was that maybe, uh, this, is, this is a theory, a conspiracy theory, if you like, um, but maybe this was never supposed to become a story in the first place. What do I mean by that? What I, what I mean is that maybe this was not supposed to be covered anywhere. This was not supposed to really be discussed or talked about, uh, except maybe on a local level. You know, I, I don't see how they could not talk about it locally, but there was, I think probably this was not supposed to be a, uh, a national uh, or international story seizing headlines. I think maybe uh, the people who run things just sort of thought, well, we could do this. And again, this is just my theorizing here, because I don't know if this was done intentionally but on the other hand you know watch my uh, previous video in which I say I talk about three uh, strange quote coincidences uh, regarding this uh, this chemical spill this this train derailment and consequent chemical spill uh, and uh, the things that 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 make you really wonder uh, if uh, you know this could this, if this might have been something intentional, no smoking gun. I mean, I'm not I'm not claiming that. But anyway, if you want to know uh, what I mean, what what the context is for for what some of you might think is such a crazy out there, especially if you're new to this channel, such a crazy out there uh, uh, notion, then I invite you to go back and watch that video of mine where uh, where I discuss three uh, strange coincidences. Um, related to uh, East Palestine, Ohio. Um, one was the white noise being filmed there just before uh, uh, this happened. Uh, and then there, were, there was the uh, EPA report that got changed. Sorry, the CDC report that got changed uh, just, uh, just a, a month before regarding these toxic chemicals and uh, how it became much more inconspicuous and uh, the information... Uh, was uh, uh, much of the information was taken down and put up in, an only, in a very abridged form, uh, almost as if they were trying to not call attention to these particular chemicals, which just happened to be the, the toxic chemicals that spilled uh, uh, in East Palestine, Ohio, on February 3rd, uh, with that when that uh, fateful train derailment happened, and the third, of course, being the uh, strange. Um, digital ID program that they were deciding to put into effect in, of all places, East Palestine, Ohio, just uh, a couple of weeks, maybe one week, uh, you know, it was late January where that was uh, a story. They were going to put this digital health program into effect where you can, you wear some, uh, something around with you and it, and it tells people, uh, you know, what you're, what you're suffering with and, and, uh, you know, they, they, they can uh, scan it and and it's just, uh, you know, another one of those not frightening at all uh, 
you know, digital ID uh, kind of kind of uh, endeavors that the the powers that shouldn't be just keep uh, wanting to uh, foist upon us. Um, so all of that is to say there is at least uh, you know circumstantial um, reason to wonder if this was an accident at all, or if this was something that was supposed to happen. And if it was supposed to happen, I'm thinking maybe it was supposed to be something that just went under the radar. Maybe they could, they, they thought in their arrogance, look, we can just make this happen. We'll, we'll, we'll pull this off. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll execute this, uh, this, uh, operation, um, you know, operation poison the, the heartland. Uh, maybe they called it, I don't know. And, uh, uh, and, and they just thought, you know, it's out in the sticks, it's out in the middle of nowhere, nobody cares about these people, these are just a bunch of white trash opioid addicts, uh, you know, who voted for Trump, uh, and who we all, who we in the elite all hate, loathe, and despise, uh, so nobody's going to care about them anyway. So, uh, we'll just, you know, let this, let this happen, um, and, uh, and it'll just, fly under the radar, you know, uh, maybe they, they, maybe they had an idea that that was going to be the result. Um, you know, that nobody would really talk it up. Uh, you know, no, uh, uh, no large outlet would, would, would pick up on it. Of course they, they thought that maybe the conspiracy, the people they think of as conspiracy theorists and crazies, uh, you know, and every, everybody like that would, would maybe, uh, notice it and say some say a thing or two about it, but that you know, the there these people are often so successful at making terrible things happen and then just throwing a lid over it, right, and uh, covering it all up and or, or just just saying nothing to see here, go away, go away. We're not talking about this. Um, uh, on to the next thing. And maybe that's what they counted on uh, happening with their, you know, complicit uh, media in tow. Um, but things didn't fall out as they had planned because uh, the after it happened, uh, it got so much attention in uh, the in like a uh, like two weeks following. Uh, it's the, the, the date of the uh, catastrophe itself, the derailing of the train, and then the, the supposed, the, the, the so-called control bur controlled burn of the chemicals, uh, which resulted in, uh, these, these, these harmful, toxic, um, chemicals, you know, just, just being scattered into the, into the atmosphere, uh, and, uh, into the, into the water and into the soil. And in all, in all likelihood, into people's, uh, uh, you know, into into people's lungs uh, and uh, uh, and so forth. So, uh, so the notion was this will just happen, and it'll be you know, uh, it'll be a sort of a small town event. Nobody cares, um, you know, and we'll just move on from there. We'll, we'll see to it that our, that, that the agenda is advanced, that the, the big news places, you know, talk about other stuff like, uh, how, how we need to give, you know, uh, billions and billions and trillions and trillions of dollars to, to Ukraine, uh, to, to keep a war going there. Um, and how that's the really important thing, <laughs> but something happened to, uh, uh, trip them up or something happened that was unexpected because, People like them, they constantly underestimate. Uh, well, uh, they, they overestimate their own intelligence, uh, and, and they underestimate uh, the, the, the notion that uh, the people that they think uh, are, are just only fit to be, uh, you know, uh, sheep to be, or, 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 uh, or cattle to be, to be ruled over, uh, uh, to be... Um, um, to be cold when necessary. And, you know, this is the way that they, they, they see the general public, but especially the type of people, you know, in the Rust Belt, uh, the, the, where East Palestine is, um, you know, they have a special loathing for, for that demographic. Um, and maybe that they let their hatred get away with them just a little bit. And they thought nobody will care. And then lo and behold, 
the story really got talked up by a lot of people and even in an act an, an unbought activist like Aaron Brockovich, you know, who, uh, they made a movie about a few years ago and, and was a, at one time a liberal icon, but now she's, she's, uh, you know, saying she's calling the Biden administration to task. And so it's sort of like, Ooh, uh Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, and I don't know, people on social media, people on, on Twitter, people um, in in uh, the the alternative media, keep kept drawing attention to it and kept talking about it. That eventually, uh, the 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 mainstream uh, news media had to start talking about it as well. They had to start covering it. But it was really the reason why I. Uh, I come to this, uh, or, or the reason why I theorize what I'm theorizing here, is that I find it really odd that this basically got no coverage when it happened. And it got no coverage for days and days, and maybe for maybe for uh, uh, even like a week or a week and a half, or maybe even two weeks. You know, uh, it took a long time for mainstream media uh, sites to say, oh, this is, this is an important story. This is really uh, a, uh, a profound catastrophe. This is something that we need to, uh, we need to cover. Uh, and so maybe to the dismay uh, of the, uh, <clears throat> the establishment, uh, you know, the, the, the types who were pushing this op, maybe to their dismay, they're, they're, they're usually complicit partners in the mainstream media uh, you know, just were put into a, a corner uh, and basically said, "Look, we we have to we have to talk about this. If we don't talk about this, it's going to be really strange." So, so now you know you read about it in the New York Times and you see you see stories about it on CNN, Washington Post, and all the usual grisly suspects, the gri the same grisly ilk that we all know and loathe. Um, but they're covering the story now. Um, and another reason why I, I, I have this theory um, is the fact that, you know, you have Buttigieg, I'm not, I, don't know if, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, I don't care, but, uh, you know, just, just being so tin-eared, being so uh, callous, um, not mentioning the, 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 uh, this catastrophic event at all, and he's the transportation secretary. He ought to be the first one to hone in on it. He, sh he should have been there from day one, right after it happened. If, you know, if the, <laughs> if the government is really advocates for the people, which of course they aren't. If you believe that, you're a fool. But if they were, uh, you know, in that kind of scenario, he would be right on top of it from day one. He would be. You know, sending people out there, uh, and uh, and you know, making strong statements, and uh, and doing whatever it took. But he said nothing about it after it happened for days uh, and days. And then he he even made some sort of a like a, some extremely callous remark about yeah, the train derailment in Ohio is getting a lot of attention, but really there's train derailments that happen all the time. I mean, yeah, he actually said that. I mean, can you believe how tin-eared uh, a person can be? Um, but again, maybe it, it, the scenario, what the idea was, uh, maybe he wasn't. He, didn't, he wasn't even put. I, 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 he, maybe he wasn't even part of the inner loop. You know, maybe it's possible that even though he's the transportation secretary, he didn't he didn't even know. <laughs> that this major uh, hu um, manner of transportation had had this this uh, extremely significant uh, catastrophe uh, and uh, environmental and, and humanitarian disaster take place. It's possible he just didn't know uh, that he was just too busy going around giving speeches about how there's too many white men in uh, in the railroad industry, and that's the really important thing to talk about, uh, not this. Uh, this um, uh, toxic chemical spill that threatens people in uh, over uh, you know who knows uh, who who knows how wide a swath uh, it's ultimately going to affect 
uh, humanity, and it's it's already affected the animal kingdom, as as we keep hearing over and over again. Dogs are dying, cats are dying, fish are dying, birds are dying, you know, what have you. Um, so, I mean, is it is it at all possible that you know even that that maybe Buttigieg and and even Biden weren't even on in on the loop? They didn't even know that it happened when it happened. Um, and they just said to Biden, okay, you, all right, old man, uh, you know, uh, take your uppers and get on this plane and go to Ukraine and, and say what you're supposed to say uh, because we need to keep this op going uh, in Ukraine. And, uh, you know, meanwhile, <laughs> everybody was talking, you know, it became this huge, huge story. Um, in spite of the best laid plans of mice and men to keep it under wraps, you know, and I think that what I'm saying is plausible. And if it is plausible, then this should be a quote unquote white pill to a lot of people who just think, oh, uh, well, the bad people are in charge and they control everything and uh, uh, nothing's ever going to change and blah, blah, blah. You know, that, that whole uh, defeatist crap, you know, the, if what I'm saying is true, then we had the people covering this story that needed to be covered on a grassroots level and people talking about it and, you know, uh, and starting this buzz and the buzz not the, uh, not being able to die down. They couldn't kill it. You know, they, they, they couldn't do what, what or they couldn't detoggle it or de-amplify it, uh, you know, like they, they often do with, with stories that they, they don't want out there. Um, and... And now it's this uh, this huge blemish uh, on not only the administration but the the, uh, the powers that be in general. Um, you know, so that that shows that you know under certain circumstances, anyway, if you talk, if you are determined to uh, make this thing heard, and enough other people say, yeah, this is this is something pretty huge. This is something pretty terrible. We need to talk about it. Why is the mainstream media not talking about this? We need to uh, keep pushing this. And eventually it got out there. And and eventually it became the, the, the big story that it, that it needed to be the whole time. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think of, of my thoughts below if you care to. And thank you for watching.